But the rents are still due, and it doesn't wait for Congress to pass bills. People need help right now. Ted Tampa Bay's Emerald Morrow explains how the $25 billion earmarked in that relief bill could have actually helped people in our area right now who are struggling to make rent. They did less for us this time with more opportunity than they did last time. And it leaves Johnny Bowers to wonder if the new stimulus bill will be enough to keep him in his Tampa home. Is it $600 gonna help us get a hotel for a week? Me personally, going from working for the government to being affected by it, they're not helping us. The military veteran says he's been out of work for eight months, is $1,800 behind on rent, and is now facing eviction. I have kids. What's going to happen? If President Trump signs the new COVID relief bill, $25 billion would be set aside for rental assistance. The money can be used for past and current rent, as well as utilities. To qualify, though, you have to make less than the median income in your area, and you must show that you're either receiving unemployment or facing financial hardship and at risk of losing your home. The important thing to remember there is it's not automatic. You do have to apply. Attorneys at Gulf Coast Legal Services say they gave out lots of money from the first stimulus and will be ready to give more in the second round. We had several hundred thousand dollars that was earmarked for us. So we were able to give rental assistance and uh, keep people in their homes through uh, uh, December 31st. That's when the CDC ban on evictions ends. But it has a lot of loopholes. One thing we're seeing is landlords basically trying to get around the CDC order. And the way they could do that is by saying it's not about non-payment of rent. It's really about something else, like a violation of the lease. Elise Bowers hopes he can hold on to until help comes, help that won't last forever, leaving him with the one question we all have. What's going to happen when all this is up? As it stands, a relief bill, $600 direct payments are designed to get cash to people fast. But for most Americans, 600 bucks just won't cut it. We took a deeper dive into rent rates in every state across the country. We got these numbers from Housing Data Zillow, uh, the rental and, and home finder website, which they compiled in 2019. They have a specific algorithm to determine medium rental rates. Now, according to Zillow in 2019, the state with the lowest median rent is West Virginia, which is still $866 a month. The state with the highest, California, which has an average rent rate of more than $2,500. Florida's average, by the way, is $1,620. <laughs>